Hello, everyone. Yeah, it is my great opportunity to attend the conference. The conference for today is the International Circular Economy Trends and the Business Strategy Seminar. And my name is Chai Ji Kuo. Today, I want to introduce the topic is SMES are striving for sustainable development with the imprint of the circular economy in Taiwan. Before I present today's topic, let me introduce myself to you. My name is Chachi Guo, and currently my current position is the professor uh, and uh, serves in the National Taiwan University of Science and Technology. I also conduct a director of the Sustainable Technology Management, and also I'm the committee in Taiwan for the EPA, which is the Environmental Protection Administration. Uh, today, I present uh, uh, four topics for this lecture. The first lecture is about the challenge for the uh, enterprise tower sustainability. The second topic is the circular economy, which is one of the sustainability paradigm. The third one, I will talk about why do you want to choose the uh, enterprise in Taiwan and what is the opportunity in Taiwan. Finally, I will introduce some cases which is the successful cases in Taiwan about the circular economy. Okay, let's talk about the challenge. So I, I know that right now, before the COVID-19, everybody consider about the big issue is the climate change. And consider, when we consider about the uh, climate change, the big problem is that how can we help the, the enterprise uh, going to the sustainability. So there are several ways for us try to reduce the effect of climate change. The most popular idea is that we should uh, try to reduce our temperature about 2 degrees Celsius. Based on the uh, predian, a lot of approach and show us how to do it. And however, uh, currently as the temperature is higher than before, so there's another issue to talk about. We not only reduce the temperature to be 2 degrees, but also we need to reduce to be 1.5 degrees. So that is another pathway. We try to reduce the climate change problem, and we try to solve the problem of the climate change. However, uh, we know the problem like that one, but how can we help the enterprise tower sustainability? Before that one, we need to understand the, the definition of the sustainable development. So what is the sustainable development? Development, that means the needs of a present without compromise the ability of future generation to meet their own need. That is the definition from the textbook of our, 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 uh, from the, our future, which is published in the year of 1970, 80, 87. So based on the definition, some approach talk about the sustainability should be defined as the integration of the social and the environment and the economy issue. Usually we will call this one will be triple button nine. And based on the triple button nine, some approach also talk about that is there are another two different approach for the triple button nine. One is weak sustainability. The second one is the strong sustainability. The difference between these two but triple button nine is that uh, some people argue the core issue for the sustainability of the environment, economy, and the so society, the most important thing is that we should have an economy to be our base and to be our core problem and core competitiveness. So based on that one, uh, the L. Kinton, they talk about so we should have the circular economy. So circular economy is one of the sustainability paradigm. So what is the sustainability, uh, what is the uh, uh, circular economy? So we can see circular economy is uh, one archetype of the sustainable business model. So remember, so what is the circular economy? Circular economy is one kind of a business model which helps the enterprise Power the sustainability. So circular economy is very important related with the economic growth. And circular economy is one of the several options to force 
our world to be sustainable of our system. So that is very important. We need to understand the circular economy first. Then circular economy also talk about the production and consumption system, which relies on the recycling, reuse, repair, remanufacturing, sharing of products, and the changing of the consumption patterns, and also the new business model and system. So I need to uh, emphasize the circular economy not only talk about the circular system, but also how can we make a good business model to circulate our system. And the issues for the circular economy related to the sustainable resource management and also the society behavior change and how can we transform our business model. So based on this one, the three uh, very important areas are the core area of the circular economy. So we just uh, understand uh, what is the definition of the sustainability and the circular economy. Now I want to promote Taiwan and that means that I want I want to tell you why do you need to choose Taiwan? Why is Taiwan is good for us? So from the experience of COVID-19, we know that we control the COVID-19 very good well. So right now we are very free uh, work and we have uh, several activities are freely. So we don't have any limitation. And in the sustainability, in the sustainability suspect, uh, aspects, we also are very proud. Taiwan is very good in here. Based on the reports of the Business Sweden Taiwan, uh, which is published in the, uh, t this year, uh, it mentioned about uh, Taiwan have uh, several advantages. The first one is that for Taiwan, we have a sizable domestic market with higher purchasing power. The second one is that we are excellent test market or base for the further expansion in Asia. The third one is that Taiwan is one of the Asia most uh, attractive business environment. And the fourth one is uh, how to large OEM and ODM with global footprint. And finally is the mature market in need of innovation and uh, sophisticated technology. And basically Taiwan right now, we have a very big uh, company such as TSMC and also like the, uh, the, other con the other brand that we have. And we also have a very strong supply chain and we have a lot of SME manufacturing in Taiwan. So the Taiwan's global companies are ranked higher globally in terms of sustainability, especially within in the electronics and the financial sector, also for the textile. And from the GDP, the most important thing for the sustainability is that we try to decouple with the GDP and the daily waste volume uh, clearage growth rate, rate. See from the presentation from the fire, you can see uh, our GDP is increased. However, our waste is reduced. So that is the good phenomena in Taiwan. And actually a lot of people in Taiwan, we have a good culture for the uh, social environment and the economy, which is the sustainable, sustainable behavior. And every, every people in Taiwan, we will have uh, uh, to collect the garbage very well. And also in Taiwan, several uh, language in Taiwan we have, especially we have uh, the ESG for SDG, which means that uh, a lot of enterprise, they will use the ESG and the sustainable development to communicate with the people and the enterprise. So from here, you can see what is the ESG. ESG is the governance, social and environment, and what is the UN SDG uh, 70 goals. Especially for the goal 12, is the responsible consumption and the production. It highlights for the enterprise, not only consider about the production, but also consider about the consumption. So here is the opportunity in four key areas in Taiwan. The first one is that uh, can we have a renewable energy development in Taiwan? The second one is that how can we build a sustainable city development in Taiwan? And the third one is that how can we conduct a sustainable manufacturing and the supply chain? And finally, we should have a green transportation. I think this typical area is the good opportunity for the sustainability in Taiwan. And also for the big company, 
and also for SME companies. In Taiwan, we not only we have a good uh, the sustainable behavior, but also for the enterprise in Taiwan, we have uh, several innovation. I think that the most important and the very famous in Taiwan for the uh, innovation is the from waste to textile. There are 10 teams in uh, FIFA 2014 played with recycled PET textile made in Taiwan. So Taiwan ranked number one in the worldwide function fabric market in year of 2015 with global market sharing recycling reaching about 50%. So circular economy is very good in Taiwan and easy in Taiwan because we also we have, a, have a good behavior but also for the uh, good innovation. And especially PET bottle and the coffee grounds are the material for the producing eco-friendly function fabrics. But since we have a very good opportunity in Taiwan, but consider about the sustainability and the circular economy. For the small and the medium-sized enterprise, they still feel very frustrated. And they, f they feel it is very difficult for, to implement the circular economy. The first one is the culture problem, which means that uh, the company culture and also the consumer interest and the awareness. The second challenge for the SME to, for the, uh, for the circular economy is about the technology. Because uh, the circular economy is really highly, highly relied on the circular design. And some company, they say, we don't have the data and we, we don't know what's the impact of our products. The third challenge for the SME about the circular economy is the market. Because right now, the society is not mature for the circular economy, especially for the remanufactured products and also the recycled product. Finally, it's about the regulatory. So far, uh, since the circular economy is the new business model, there are a lot of registration and also the uh, regulation, which is not good enough to support the circular economy. However, we still can find a very good successful case in Taiwan. Here, I just uh, imprint or illustrate five cases in Taiwan, which is about the plastic, umbrella, and uh, the, also the pen, and also about the package problem, the company. Okay, the first one I want to introduce is the Hongwen Group. The Hongwen Group, they guarantee they can uh, produce 100% renewable plastic conduce to our nature protection. So here you can see the manufacturing process for Hongwen. They collect the older uh, the reuse, uh, they collect the used plastic and then they will, you know, uh, scrap it and uh, remanufacture it and finally they can reduce, re reproduce the recycled plastic. The second one is the very good famous in Taiwan is the F Seasons. They design a, a easy disassemble umbrella and also they provide a service. Once your umbrella is broken, you can send it back to the manufacturer for free, and then they can fix it, then send it back. So it maintains the umbrella to be long life, so you can use the umbrella uh, very longer. The third company is SKP Pen. They use the recycled plastic and made it to be a new pen. So the character the, from the material from the PET, PET, and also from the, the second one is from the HIPS, so they try to collect all the plastics and then they regenerate it to be a new product which was used in pen. And there are several, uh, when they consider about to recycle the PET bottle, they can reduce the carbon emission. So this is also we can reduce the climate change problem. The fourth one is the UG paper. The UG paper, they develop a good machine which can reduce the usage of the ink. And also they uh, use less toxic material for the ink. So it is good when we consider about recycling the ink because it is non-toxic. So it is easy to be recycled and make the circular design system. Finally is the ProBrew. ProBrew is the diving company. They collect the plastic from the ocean and then they purify the plastic 
And finally, they make the, the plaster to be the sunglasses. Although right now, uh, it is not uh, in the mass production, but they, also, uh, they already show the technology. How can we recycle the end-of-life plastic and then they can regenerate to be a product? I think that these five uh, companies, they are struggling to, you know, to develop a new technology. And right now they have a big issue is that how can they expand their brand in the world? And I, here I suggest you, you can contact with these five companies and then, and then you can know what is, the, what is their ability for the circular economy. And also there's another one is the uh, COVID-19 issues. I want to show that, uh, see basically right now, for the sustainability, uh, it was interrupted by the COVID-19. So COVID-19 looks like it already changed our behavior change. And also uh, COVID-19 also uh, caused the supply chain disruption. And also the COVID-19 changed our globalization to be deglobalization. So they, they put, uh, based on that one, we think about and we can understand the COVID-19 put a new constraint for our circular economy. So finally, I would suggest, based on the COVID-19, and how can we solve the problem for the uh, circular economy? The first suggestion is the collaboration. I strongly suggest to cooperate with your consumer or your supplier to make the circular economy. The third one is that you need to, uh, the company should think about how can we have a recovery system for any climate change or any disease or any risk. I think that is very important, especially when we conduct the circular economy. Finally is that since the COVID-19, we, uh, we, are, we are absolute with our friends. So the digitization is also very important if the company want to conduct the circular economy. So I strongly uh, suggest you to, for the enterprise, when you conduct the circular economy after COVID-19, the collaboration, recovery system, and the digitization is very important. I hope that my lecture is useful for you. Thank you for your uh, watching this video. Thanks. Goodbye. <laughs>